Hi friends, very good evening. So welcome back to my channel. Let me introduce myself. This is Chandu Prasha. Today our topic is the design and implementation of automatic washing machine control system using very large hardware description models. So it is one of the many project. Uh, so this entire project uh, so is done using very large hardware description models. The main aim of this project is to simulate and automate the entire washing process, efficiently managing cycles such as washing. Rinsing, spinning, and drying. Okay, the entire system is built by using finite state machine. So it is a FSM that we are using in this project. And uh, these are the states: ideal state, ready state, soak state. And it will works in three different modes: and work, and a rinse state, and finally spin phase. Once spin phase is completed, or spin state is completed, it will again come back to this uh, ideal state. So our aim is to design this FSM. Okay, so for this purpose, I am using the uh, software called as Xilinx Vivado. So version 2015.2. So let me explain the design code. So see this uh, design code. So initially the module declaration, the name of the module is uh, uh, washing machine. It has nine inputs and uh, nine outputs. Uh, so it will works in uh, three different uh, modes. Uh, that's why I have written three modes: mode one, mode two, mode three. So generally, mode one is used to represent uh, less than two cages. Okay. So mode one, uh, if the number of class weight is less than two cages, we are using mode one. If the class weight is uh, two to four cages, we are using mode two. If the class weight is uh, four to six cages, we are using mode three. So that's why we are considering three modes. Okay. Mode one, less than two cages. Mode two. Two to four cages, more three, four to six cages, respectively. Okay, just just assume that. And uh, after that, uh, uh, lid. Uh, so all these are the inputs, clock. Uh, and after this, we have the outputs also, nine outputs. So and these are the input and output port declarations. And finally, we are using one clock signal here, which is two fifty six H clock. And uh, here, uh, one more important thing, coin return. So it is a coin-based operating system. So it will works based upon the coin. So here, uh, o uh, coin return. It means it returns the coin if the process is cancelled and O done. So it is a signal. It indicates uh, the washing is completed. Okay, these two are declared as a output side. Right? Next one is a state encoding. Okay, six states are represented using the six bit binary numbers. So all these are six bit binary numbers. And each state uh, and identified with a single binary number and uh, ideal state. And uh, in the ideal state, the machine is in ideal condition. And ready state when coin is inserted, oh, then only the machine will be in ready state. And uh, soak class will be in soaking phase here. Wash class are in washing phase. Uh, rinse class are in rinse phase. And finally, spin phase. It is a final state, right? So, and uh, these are the parameter state encoded using the parameter. And we are using three modes, right? So mode one, so I uh, already told you, less than two cases. Mode two, two to four, and mode three, four to six cases. Okay. And uh, it is a register and counter declaration. So these are the uh, registers and uh, counters we are having. And uh, we are having so all these are the registers. So soak and so PF means present state, NS means next state, and soak done and wash done. These are indicate that when each phase is completed. Okay. Next one we are using counters also along with registers, so counter, wash counter, and these are the timers to track phase durations. And next one, uh, soak pass, wash pass, rinse pass, in pass. That means uh, um, these will hold the particular state when the lid uh, is open. When the lid is in open condition, these uh, these are hold the particular state. And next one is uh, time pass logic. Timer pass uh, logic when the lid is open. If the lid is open, uh, washing machine passes the particular state. For example, in soak phase, if the lid will be open, the soak phase will be passed. So during washing, if lid is open, wash phase will be passed like this. Okay, it is a timer pass logic. And the uh, next one is a uh, phase completion logic. In this, totally we are having four logics: soak logic, soak completion logic. Uh, wash completion logic, rinse completion logic, and spin completion logic. And uh, see here uh, this uh, soak completion logic. 
in show completion logic so in mode 1 we have to soak the class for 5 minutes in mode 2 we have to soak the class for 8 minutes why because the weight is increased you know? so in mode 3 the weight is again increased that's why we have to soak for 10 minutes similarly wash learn logic also uh, in mode 1 we have to wash for 10 minutes and mode 2 we have to wash the class for 15 minutes in mode 3 we have to wash the class for 20 minutes similarly rinse also in mode 1 rinse will be done uh, for 5 seconds and uh, mode 2 for 8 seconds and in mode 3 rinse will be done for 10 seconds and uh, spin done classic same uh, in mode 1 spin will be done for 5 seconds and mode 2 5 minutes ok or let us assume minutes ok in mode 2 spin will be done for 8 minutes and mode 3 so spin will be done for uh, 10 minutes ok so it is a phase completion logic we have 4 logics for soap, wash, rinse and spin ok and individual minutes are uh, displayed over here and uh, next one is uh, timer implementations ok timers increase every clock cycle unless it's passed so see here the first timer mm -hmm. soap timer so it will reset ok it will uh, reset when i start is pressed so it will pause if the lid is open and increments the each clock cycle so it will increment the each clock cycle ok so it is a soap timer loss. So, and we have four timers, okay, our soak timer, loss timer, and uh, why these are uh, using the timers means timers will increase the clock cycle, so unless it will be paused, okay, we are having four timers, uh, just like phase computation logic, so we have four ti timers also, we are having four timers, soak timer, wash timer, rinse timer, and spin timer, okay, and the next part of our code is uh, present state logic. So, present state of logic. See here, when the machine resets to ideal state, when the machine resets to ideal state, when uh, I start is pressed or I cancel is pressed, okay, the machine will be uh, reset to ideal state. When, when if you press the I start or if you press the cancel, okay. So, otherwise it will be go to next state so next one next state logic ne next state decoder logic it is the most important so for this we have to understand this episode ok and uh, see here if coin is inserted ok see this FSM then only we will get a clear understanding so if coin is inserted coin equal to 1 in the sense coin is inserted ok Lid equal to 0 in the sense, lid is closed. Cancel equal to 0 means cancel button is not pressed. So, if coin is inserted, lid is closed, cancel button is not pressed, it will go to ready state. Otherwise, it will remain in ideal state. Okay. Next. If lid is closed, if lid is closed and cancel button is not pressed and uh, we can select any mode and it will goes to soap state otherwise it will be remains in the same state here we are having the two terminologies nst and cst nst means nest state cst means current state okay similarly soap also if uh, lid is not open cancel button is not pressed and it will move to the nest state wash phase similarly if lid is not closed cancel button is not pressed and uh, it will go from wash phase to it will goes to rinse phase uh, this is the same logic is implemented here. Okay. If lid is not closed, if uh, okay, here the lid is closed and coin is inserted, cancel button is not pressed, it will go to next state. Otherwise, it will uh, stay in the same state. So, see here, uh, here also. If lid is uh, closed, cancel button is not pressed, and the uh, soap will be done, it will be go goes to next state. Otherwise, it will lie in the same state. Same logic here also. If uh, here also, if lid is closed, cancel button is not pressed, rinse was completed, it will go to spin state. Okay. So, see here, uh, if you press the cancel button at any state, immediately so it will return to ideal state. Okay. 
So if you press the cancel button, if you don't press the cancel button, it will goes to next state. If you press the cancel button, immediately it will come back to ideal state. So and the coin will be not returned. Okay, coin will not going to be returned during if you press the cancel during these phases. Okay, here spin state also. If lid is not closed, cancel button is not pressed. Once spin state is completed, again it come back to ideal state. Otherwise, it will lie in spin state. So it is uh, explanation regarding the next state logic. So the same uh, FSM um, I have implemented with the help of code here. Same. Next one is output logic. Okay. Last part of our code here. See here. So uh, all this present state can be considered as ideal. And it can be uh, considered as ready, and all these things here. You can see one more important point here. Water inlet should be open during soak, wash, and rinse phase. See here, water inlet should be open during soak phase, wash phase, and rinse phase. Okay, if the user cancels, uh, that means if the user press the cancel button, so uh, when it is in the ready state, coin is returned. Okay, coin is returned. So only in ready state coin will be returned. In remaining state uh, states coin will not going to be returned. So during ready state, if the user presses cancel button, coin will return. So why? Because the operation is not uh, not yet started completely. But in soak state, if the user presses cancel button, the coin won't be returned. Only in ready state coin will be returned. So this is what I have written here. Okay. And finally, once everything will be done, once all the states are completed, finally it will uh, generate a signal called as order. So when spin completes, it, the mission uh, signal that the wash cycle is finished, and by setting this order signal equal to high, once order equal to one, we can say we can assume that the washing process has completed. Okay, so it is about uh, so the design code. So let me explain. Uh, so this. Uh, Test bench code also. So for that we have to go to simulation sources folder. So there we can find the test bench code. So see here. So basically it will uh, uh, we can check the different test cases to verify its uh, functionality. So that's why I have written the task based test bench. Okay, to verify its uh, functionality. And uh, see see here the test bench. Shall I have inputs and output declaration after that initialization. And uh, after that, uh, clock generation. Here I have generated so clock will be toggles for every five seconds, and uh, or the total time period uh, is uh, ten seconds. So, uh, because for uh, five uh, seconds, uh, uh, is high, and another five seconds, the uh, clock will be uh, low. That means so clock will be toggled for every five seconds. Total time period is at uh, ten. So we can see this uh, task zero. So it is um, just to initialize the outputs. We have to initialize all these outputs. That means uh, why it is task zero. Why we have to initialize to zero means to prevent this circuit uh, or to prevent this from the uh, unwanted latches. We have to consider this all these uh, uh, to zero. All these inputs to zero. And after that, uh, task one. Okay, task one means so we have to start the washing uh, in mode one, and uh, the lid is open. It is one task. That means these are the different kinds of uh, tests that we are performing on this design code to verify our design is working perfectly or not. So task one means here the washing machine will be in mode one, and the lid will be open during a, a wash phase. Okay, lid will be open during wash phase. So see this uh, output. So it is an RTL schematic, uh, uh, and it is a gate level schematic after. Uh, Synthesis, uh, and uh, let me explain about this report later. So see here simulation result. So during mode one, so so we will get this type of error. So during mode one and the lid one is uh, open. So lid is open. So the machine will going to be passed in wash phase. Why? Why? Because so the lid is open during wash phase. That means wash phase will be passed for some duration. So here mode one, the machine is now the machine is working in mode one and the lid is open. Similar, it is a uh, mode two. Here uh, the machine is working in mode two and the lid is open during the rinse phase. Similarly, it is task three. Here mode three without the lid open. 
like this uh, we have to verify the various tasks it is a task one and uh, next one is a task two that is uh, start the washing in mode two with lid to open during rinse phase so we have written the code like this okay we, we have to check the output at a pause edge of the clock okay at every pause edge to edge of the clock task three we have to start the washing in mode three without opening the lid okay so it is a task three and uh, we have task force also we can include as many tasks as possible cancel operation during ready phase task 4 and uh, task 5 cancel operation during wash phase and uh, so uh, after that i have to call the all the tasks one by one and finally i have to end end, end the module okay so now i am checking the output only for the task 3 task 3 in the sense so task 3 so see here one, task 3 we are uh, it is working in mode 3 with the lid is open okay lid is open i am checking this output only for task 3 for remaining part of the code i have kept in it in a uh, comment like so only task 3 will be executed so let me rerun the simulation run behavioral simulation we have to select behavioral simulation remember so see here so observe here this particular washing machine works in mode 3 and lid is not open. So, see here, lid is not open, it will be zero condition. Only we have to check at every pauses of the clock. So, then only we can uh, understand very clear. So, at the pauses of the clock, so mode 3 is working in mode 3 and lid is not open. Okay, like this, we can check as many tasks as possible. Okay, so next, uh, see this uh, uh, console window. So here I am using uh, one uh, system task that is dollar display. So which will print on this uh, particular TCL terminal. If we can open it, we can able to see this uh, here. It will starting in mode three uh, without lid open at time equal to zero. We can clearly see this TCL console window. Now the particular washing machine runs in the mode three without the lid open condition. So we have to check for uh, various test cases to verify the functionality of our design. And uh, if you can see the synthesis report, so and it is an synthesis uh, schematic or gate level at least uh, after uh, doing synthesis. So it is in uh, synthesis report. If you can observe uh, the synthesis report, the total power, uh, total on chip power is 0 0.44 watts. So which includes both the static power and dynamic power. So it is a power report and utilization report uh, and where we can observe the slice LUTs, slice lookup tables and total uh, slice LUTs are uh, 63,400. Among them we have used 106, so utility percentage is 0.17%. Similarly bonded IOP, so the percentage is uh, around utilization rate 0.10%. So it is in synthesis report and uh, by the way it is in uh, uh, technology schematic or great level at least after running the synthesis and uh, it is an RTL schematic okay so it is an FSM okay so that's it okay thank you